Rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. It's us again. We're back down here at the San Luis Obispo Animal Shelter, and we have a full house. Surprise, surprise, Deborah. Uh, yeah, you know, we had a little bit of a break for a while there, but we are back to being full of dogs and cats. Well, you know, we never get used to that. When we have a little break where we figure, oh, we have a couple of empty kennels and cages, we never get used to that ever. No. It never lasts long, no. but we are very crowded right now. We're doubling up cats, we're doubling up dogs, and we don't want to make space the bad way. So we want to make space the good way. That means please come down here and adopt some of our wonderful little pets because they, they you know, they're great. It's great for them to get out of here, but it's great for you to take them home because there is nothing like coming home from a hard day at work and having your dogs and your cats there to greet you. It's the best thing in the world. That's what Chava wants to do for somebody. That's all he wants That's to do. That's all he wants to do. He's been and, here a long time. And Deborah, he wouldn't even take up a lot of space. Look at him. He's, I, I don't know, that's what, three, four pounds maybe. Chavo is very small. He's about eight years old, so, you know, he's got some seasoning. He's well-behaved. He's housebroken. He's gentle. He was looking for a lap, although he does like to interact with other dogs. Probably cats, too. I don't know if we've had him with cats. but I he's think the cat a, would overpower him. Well, yeah, it might be kind of scary <laughs> for him. But he's a great little guy. He's a marvelous little dog. And good news. We have paid half of his adoption oh, fee. Oh, come on. Half price for this yes. wee dog? Yes. Oh. That tiny little thing is a bargain to boot. So please come down here and check out Chavo. He is one of our longest residing. You never want to be in that position in a, in a public facility. So please come down here and check out this sweet, darling little dog. ID number 199830. This is Chavo. This is Big Bronx. He is a classic salami head. Look up that term. You'll see a picture of, of uh, Bronx with it. Um, nice dog. Big, beautiful thing. Um, he's, he's pretty young. He's only about two. Uh, somebody's cropped his ears, and some people think that makes dogs look scary, but he didn't do it, so don't blame him for it. He's a, he's a terrific dog. ID number 200881. This is Bronx. This is a, a dog, a classic reason why we volunteer down here. This little girl is scared to death down here, but she is very sweet. When she's comfortable with you, she's very loving. She wants to just sit by you. She probably should go to a quiet home since she is a little bit nervous, but she is a sweetheart and deserves a good home. Just about three years old. Mandy's ID number is 200810. Okay, we love Gunther down here. Poor guy. You know, after six years, he lost his home, so he's stuck down here, and he can't quite figure out why, but he is a good dog. He went to the uh, Congleton, Congleton show and did really great. Good in the car, just all around nice dog. He also did well with our office cats. He likes to play with other dogs, especially females. So he's just kind of an all around nice, nice guy. Gunther is his name and his ID number is 188576. This gorgeous creature is Midas. He's actually in foster and his foster mom is saying he is great with everybody. He is fantastic with kids. He's in fact, she used the word phenomenal. Um, she said that he is great with other dogs, all other dogs, all sexes, all sizes. He has been great. He's learned sit, down, shake, <laughs> as you can see. He is a gorgeous thing. Um, Midas's ID number is 199399. And if you are interested in meeting Midas, call the uh, shelter and they will get in touch with his foster parent and then they will get in touch with you to meet him. He's a good boy, this Midas is. This is Callie, and just like the dog you just saw, Midas, she has that beautiful, shiny, tight, just gorgeous black coat. Um, she, this is a very athletic girl. If you are looking for a jogging or hiking partner, um, she would be terrific at that. She likes to play with other male dogs. She's better with males. She does need a hard player, though, because she is really can do some athletics out there. Very affectionate and sweet, a good girl. And a nice size. She's kind of a medium-sized girl, too. Callie's ID number is 191631. This is Thor. He's he is a lovely dog. He's been good with other dogs down here. He's great with people. Once he gets past his shyness with you, he's very loving. He knows sit down and shake. This, this is a dog that's been cared about and has been trained, and he's a good boy. But, you know, bad luck happens sometimes. We love him enough down here that he has had half of his adoption fee paid. So that saves you more than $50 on the adoption fee. And um, he is so deserving of going into another family and being their beloved pet and companion. He's a wonderful dog. His ID number is 197856. This is Thor. This is our sweet girl, Ivy. And 
beloved enough that she has become the volunteer's pick of the month, again, which means she has half of her adoption fee paid as well. This is a sweet, gentle, loving little dog. She loves people. Probably a quiet home is best, although I'm sure she'd be fine with children as well. Um, she's just an all-around sweet. She's got a little gray in her face. We think she's about seven or eight years old. And when people see that, they're reluctant. But these dogs live to be sometimes 16, 17, 18 years old. So she's got lots of time left. And we do love this dog. Ivy's ID number is 199786, Volunteers Pick of August. Tucker is an extremely nice dog. And he's getting more and more and more depressed down here. He just looks sadder every single week that I come in, you know, and see him. It's just breaking my heart. He's a great dog. Um, he's crate trained. He's house trained. He likes car travel. He has basic ob obedience. He knows tricks. He swims. He likes to sleep. I mean, he's just an all around really good dog who unfortunately, you know, lost his home for whatever reason they couldn't keep him. And he just is such a nice guy. He's just so nice. And he's good with other dogs too. So if you've got a big heart and some room and just love other dogs, please, or love dogs, please come down and think about him. He does also have half of his adoption fee paid. So that's at more than $50 off of the adoption fee. So he's a bargain to boot. So please come adopt this beautiful boy. ID number 196283, our beloved Tucker. This is Brandy. She's our other uh, pick, volunteer's pick of um, August. That means she has half of her adoption fee paid as well. She is a gorgeous thing. She's been here way too long. She's been here since, I think, April. That's not good. Um, but she's, you know, she's holding up pretty well. Her problem is when you come down here to meet her, she's distracted and she doesn't pay much mind to you. But she went out to foster and they said, you know, her biggest problem was licking you to death. She's just giving too many kisses, kisses, kisses. So, you know, she's stressed down here. It's hard for her to focus on people. But in a home, she will be a wonderful companion. So this is our other volunteer's pick. This is Brandy, ID number 198354. Maybelline, she got that name because of the beautiful eyeliner around her eyes. This is, by the way, Thor and Tucker's girlfriend. They both love this girl. Um, she's beautiful, she's smart, she is a lovely dog. Her owners could no longer keep her. They were very sad to turn her in, but um, very good with kids and just an all around nice dog. This is Maybelline, ID number 195084. This this is nice little Barkley. He's a funny little guy. He's got a great face. He's got that kind of white mask going. Just an all-around cool dog. Um, Barkley does well with other dogs. He hangs out with them in the yards down here. He likes people. He, I'm sure he'd be good with kids. He is just a really cool little dog. ID number 200717. This is Barkley. I know that we have big-hearted people out there in this county who sometimes come down here and adopt our older dogs. And that's what our alley needs. She's nine or 10 years old. She is just a great little dog. She hangs out with other dogs in the yard. She particularly likes little ones. We put her out there in a whole sea of little dogs and she's just as happy as she can be. She's very energetic. She doesn't move like an older dog. She doesn't act like an older dog. She's got a little gray in the face. Absolutely adorable girl who gets the senior rebate, which means you get $35 back on her adoption fee. So that's helpful. And you get a really sweet companion. Allie's ID number is 118181. This is Bruiser, who is just absolutely stunned by his own appearance in the camera in the, uh, <laughs> the camera there. He's liking the looks of himself. Bruiser's a gorgeous dog, just about two years old. He came from, uh, well, actually, he was picked up at Paso PD. <laughs> so I don't know what he did, but he ended up at the police department. Oh, he was loitering? Are you sure it wasn't jaywalking? I'm sure it was not a felony, simply a misdemeanor. He's a very nice dog, and he is beautiful. He's um, about two years old, ID number 200478, Bruiser. Sandy is a fun dog. She's really active. She's really fun. She's hating being filmed right now. She's absolutely hating it. Got her tail between her legs and looks like she wants to be any place but here with us. However, she is a beautiful dog and she is a nice medium size. Her best friend down here is Gunther, who you saw earlier. So come down here and take a look at this pocket-sized little girl. ID number 200546, Sandy. I wonder if somebody is missing their nice little poodle. This is Rusty. He came to us on the 13th of August from Arroyo Grande. And um, he's a super nice little dog. Very socialized. Just, just a big old bundle of love. Or a little bundle of love, actually. So I find it hard to believe that no one's looking for him. But 
He's down here waiting to get adopted if his owners aren't coming. So if you want a very nice little poodle who are also known to be fairly hypoallergenic and they don't shed much and they're just an all around easy keeper, also very smart, come check out Rusty. ID number 200965. This is a beautiful little dog. Um, this is Latina and she was a stray. She came from um, like down close to Santa Maria, but still in our county. Uh, small little girl, kind of a pocket-sized little pity there. Latina's just really gorgeous and terribly, terribly affectionate with people. ID number 200883, this is Latina. Can you say shelter favorite, everybody? Because you're looking at her. This is BB. This is one of the happiest dogs. You know, even be, being down here for a while, she is so dang happy. She does very well with other dogs. She doesn't like cats, but she does very well with other dogs, males and females. I don't know about small ones, but big ones, she does really good. She is the most affectionate creature. She's a smart little creature. She loves to play fetch. She's just, you know, sit, shake. She's, oh, God, we love her. This is BB, people. This is BB, and you should have her, but only if you're an A-plus person because she's an A-plus dog. Anyone else, don't apply. BB's ID number is 200235. We love her, we love her, and she loves us all right back. Did I say I love her? Okay, there's got to be somebody missing this dog. She's got this lovely kind of thick collar that... The first thing we notice about it has no tags hanging from it and no one has taken a Sharpie marker and written their phone number on it. Nobody comes for her. We're going to call her Poppy because we think she looks like one. She's so cute. ID number 201041. This is another big gal that we absolutely love down here. This is Lady and she's just a big old just cuddler, lap dog, sweet girl. Just, she's great. She's been doing well playing with other dogs down here, males and females so far. She's just a lovely dog. You know, she doesn't have the look that a lot of people are looking for in their family dog. But you know what? Looks are not everything. Sometimes they're not anything. And this would be somebody's great family companion. ID number 199248. This is our darling, darling lady. Well, we hope Milo's owners are out there looking for him. He was picked up on the 16th of August at, on 12th Street, um, probably Los Osos, I guess. It says coastal dur jurisdiction. Um, he's a beautiful black German shepherd, an all-around nice dog. So we sure hope someone comes looking for him. Otherwise, he'll go up for adoption. His ID number is 198634. This is Milo. This is such a little cutie. Um, his name is Charlie, and he was he was turned in because his owners could no longer keep him. Very nice little beagle mix, it looks like there. He's kind of scared down here, but he's doing better. Uh, he Once he trusts you, then he's very nice, and, and he seems to really like other dogs, too. Charlie's ID number is 189163. He's going to be somebody's great, great friend. This little sweetie just came to us today, the 18th of August um, from the South County. So somebody must be missing their little black doggy. He's very nice. He's scared to death down here, but Larry's getting him to warm up a little bit. <laughs> His ID number is 201076. He's a nice little guy, and he's smart enough to know he doesn't want to be down here. Now, Dell's got a hold of my best boy there. I love this dog. Everybody loves this dog. But his his temperament is great. His personality is great. He's done terrific with other dogs down here. This is Bosco, 200234. Well, okay, I love this dog a lot, too. I, ha I have that issue down here. But this is Rocco, and he came into us just skinny as a rail. Um, his coat was in terrible shape, and in a week or two's time, this dog is making a terrific transformation. He's looking great. He's doing well with other dogs. He kind of is more into people. He's fine with other dogs, but he just as soon hang out with people. He especially loves women. But he is happy, goofy, funny, um, just needs a good home, needs a better home than wherever it was that he came from. And he's got incredibly pretty eyes, too. So Rocco's ID number is 200. 851, and I hope you will keep that open mind and that open heart and come meet this very nice dog. Okay, Duke likes Greer. It's pretty obvious. Okay, we love this one too. This is Duke, and actually, he's not usually this worked up. He's usually laying across your lap just wanting to get belly rubs or back rubs or whatever it is you're willing to give him. He is a super nice dog. He's done really well with other dogs down here, especially females. Um, just a really sweet, loving and man, happy dog. ID number 200740. Good looking, 
good looking dog, Duke. Well, here's where we need more big hearted people to come out and adopt a dog that is just really scared and nervous down here. Um, she has, you know, when she trusts you, she's great. And she's a, a pretty little thing. She does fine with the other dogs down here. She just hates it here. And she's kind of closed down. So she needs to get out. She just needs to get into a home where people love her and care for her. And she feels safe. Her name is Justice. Her ID number is 200093. And she's a pretty little girl who needs some help. Sweet, sweet, gentle dog right here. Just an all-around good girl. Does well with other dogs. Um, she's just... You know, her family could not keep her anymore. She's just three years old. She doesn't know why she's down here. She doesn't get it. And she's such a good dog. They truly had nothing but nice things to say about her. And it's just sad that, you know, sometimes we just can't keep our dogs. It's the saddest thing when they land in a shelter. Isabella's a good girl. ID number 200805. This is a sweet, nice, gentle little guy. Um, came in on the 13th of August. Found as a stray near... In the North County, Highway 58 near La Panza. Super nice little dog. We're going to call him Rupert. His ID number is 200987. Really, really, really nice, gentle little dog. Well, this pretty shepherd came to us from um, the North County, San Miguel, and she seems like she's had puppies recently. She came in on the 11th of the month. Beautiful dog. Looks like maybe she's part shepherd or part Malinois or something like that. Like most shepherds, she doesn't much like the shelter environment. It makes her kind of nervous, but she seems like a really nice dog. ID number 200919. We need our, our shepherd fans to come in and meet her. This little girl came to us on the 11th of August from the South County in Napomo. She's a really nice dog. Pretty little Queensland healer, or blue healer. Uh, very young, quite young, maybe two years old. Uh, nice dog. We're going to call her Stella. Her ID number is 200915. She's kind of funny, too. Oh, she just found herself on camera. This is a year-old dog who's very sad because she lost her home. They no longer could, could keep her, and so she finds herself down here, and she's not too happy about it. Her name is Rogue. Um, she, re they really don't have anything but nice things to say about her, um, but they just didn't have time to keep her anymore. So please come find this, meet this lovely, really puppy. She's only a year old. Uh, again, her name is Rogue, and her ID number is 200971. Well, he seems to be house trained. He's very happy. He is very strong, and he has a lot of energy. So we need somebody, we need some true dog people who will take this dog through training, exercise him properly. He's very nice and affectionate. He will make uh, someone a really good companion. He also likes dog. We have him playing down here so far with females. I don't know if we've tried him with males yet, but he's a good boy. ID number 200958. We are going to call him Hulk. <laughs> I don't know why. This is a beautiful dog picked up on the 15th of August, Creston and Cripple, Cripple Creek and Paso Robles. You know what, Paso Robles? I live over there, and we have way too many dogs coming into the shelter from the Paso Robles, San Miguel area. Please get ID on your dogs. This dog's wearing a big old beautiful collar. It could so easily have a phone number written on it. It could have some tags hanging from it. There are a whole lot of ways that we could have got this beautiful dog home with that gorgeous collar on, and yet we can't. It's the frustration that we have. Nice dogs like this end up down here, you know, just creating problems for, well, for them, you know, it just creates problems. We want all these dogs alive. We want them into homes. We don't want them ending up here. Please put IDs on your pets. Please spay and neuter. This dog's ID number is 201045. As you can see, he's beautiful. He's gentle. He's a good boy. This little sweetie came to us on the 16th of August, a stray from San Miguel. Um, this is, it's a, she's a very nice little dog, only about a year and a half old. A little scared here, but being very friendly, lovely, just a terrific dog, nice on the leash, just good girl. 201-062 is her ID number, and she will get adopted fast if no one comes and claims her. Now look at the happy tell on this little girl. She's not nervous down here. She's just happy all the time. Really cute, quite young, one or two years old, pretty little face. Uh, she came to us on the 14th from Paso Robles. Uh, and if nobody comes and gets her, we are going to call her Josie because she looks like a Josie. Really cute, nice dog. ID number 201017. Little cutie pie. 
this little girl is so overlooked, I just can't stand it. Um, she's only about a year old. Sometimes I think she has kind of white in her face, and so people think she's older or something. She's a little shy down here, and she's, you know, it takes her a while to warm up to you. But, boy, once she loves you, she loves you. And we love her right back. This is cute, sweet, darling little Penelope. Lovely little dog. Her ID number is 200104. Trust me, when you get to know her, you'll love her and hopefully adopt her. Oh, look at its puppies. Oh, look at those faces. These babies actually were born down here in the shelter. They are out in foster. And if you are interested, there's actually two more of them. There's another tan and another chocolate. Um, they are so cute. They are just so adorable. But um, Volunteer Ellen has been helping to socialize and train these little guys and turn them into respectable little uh, doggies because they were being a little bit, they were being a little ruffians down here because they were spending their whole life here. But she says they are doing great and becoming little ladies and mostly gentlemen, I think. I think they're mostly boys. Anyway, call the number that you see on the screen and Ellen will work out with you how to come meet these babies. Puppies, what's better than that? Mikey is just about three months old. He's a real cutie pie. ID number 200379, Mikey. Here's a cutie pie tabby cat. This is June. She's just four months old. Her ID number is 200830. That's June. Hello, Tucson. What are you doing here? Tucson is three months old. He is a black cat, as you can see, qualifying for the black cat rebate. $25 back to you on the adoption. Tucson's number, 200380. And sharing the cage with Tucson is little Toby. He's three months old also, and he's a nice gray cat. So if you're looking for two cats who can live together, these two would be a great pair. Toby's number, 200382. Toby. Hello, Paddywhack. Yeah, that's her name, Paddywhack. Big cat, big name. Paddywhack is just about four years old. She's a long-haired black and white. She is gorgeous. And someone has paid half of her adoption fee. We're very motivated to get her out of here, and half adoption fee usually does help. So Paddywhack's got half her fee paid. If you fall in love with her, half adoption fee only. Her ID number, 200745. Paddywhack. Well, here we've got some more black and whiteness, but in a different configuration. We have Miko here, and Miko is a black and white tuxedo cat. Miko is just about three years old. Her ID number is 200194, and Miko has half her adoption fee paid. Yes, she does. Someone couldn't have her themselves, but decided to put, pay for half her adoption fee so she'd get out of here quickly. So why don't you come down here and test drive Miko. ID number 200194. She's a doll. Well, here's an interestingly marked cat. She's got some tabby. She's got some torby. She's got some white. I think she's a torby calico. What do you think? She's just about two years old. She has a great temperament. Her ID number is 200808. Her coloring will fit into any, of your, any situation, any decor. Page ID number 200808. Hi, Leroy. Just waking up after his nap. Leroy is five months old. As you can see, he's gray and white. ID number 200510. Here's Lenny. Lenny is Leroy's roommate. Lenny is five months old. ID number 200512. Well, I'm talking about roommates here. This is serious business. If you want two cats that go together, these two are the cats for you. We have Dorian, who is the gray and white, just four months old, ID number 200101. And then there is Spencer, six months old, ID number 200308. This is serious business, folks. We have to put cats together because we have no space for them. So unless you come down and adopt them, bad things happen down here. And we don't want that to happen, and neither do you. So if you're on the fence about adopting a cat, a kitten, come on down and adopt one. That's the end of that. Spencer, ID number 200308, Dorian 200101. I'm not kidding about the doubling up. This is what we have to do. And these cages are very small for one cat, no less two cats. But here we've got to do it. So here we've got Binky and Toto. Binky is the gray and white, three months old, ID number 200007. And Toto is the orange and white, ID number 200005 months old. Hi, sweetheart. This is Zoe. Isn't she elegant? Zoe is just about a year and a month old. She is ID number 200355. And yes, you are right. She is a black cat and she gets the black cat rebate. So 
$25 back to you if you adopt Zoe, 200355. Look at these sweet little guys. Once again, here we are having to double up. We have Lacey and Grayson here, two nice gray cats. Grayson is the longer-haired cat, four months old, ID number 199284. And Lacey, the lighter gray, ID number 199215. These cats can get along together, so if you want two, double the fun. Lacey and Grayson. Well, we just woke this gal up. She is a stray from a Tascadero. We found her on the 16th of August. She is female. We think she's about 10 years old. She looks like a Maine Coon type. Her ID number is 201050 from a Tascadero. Are you missing her? Do you know this cat? 201050. Here's a cat named Teresa. She is female. She's just about a year old. She has a black and white tuxedo, as you can see. She's very petite. ID number 200184, Teresa. Here we have two cats that came in together. We found these cats on the 16th of uh, August in the South County. Both females, nine months old, 201059 and 201060. The first thing you're going to notice about Buddy is his beautiful topaz eyes. He is a tabby. I love the tabbies. Just about six months old. His ID number 200910. Playful Buddy. Another newcomer to the shelter. We found this cat on the 16th of August in San Luis City on Coral Street. Uh, this cat is female. ID number 200838. You fans of all white cats, here we've got Aspen for you. We think Aspen is about seven months old. ID number 200849, Aspen. Okay, here's a question for you. Does this cat qualify for a rebate? Yes, the black cat rebate. It's Marvin. A volunteer say he is very talkative. Marvin's about two years old. He is black, so he qualifies for the black cat rebate. ID number 200845, Marvin. Here's a pretty gal, very unusually marked. I mean, she's got an orange base, and then she comes up with some tabby markings on her head and her legs, and very unusual. This cat will get you noticed. She would make a good hat, says the cameraman. Anyway, I don't know what that's about, but she's just about two years old. She is female. Her ID number, 200846, and volunteers say she is sweet, sweet, sweet. You're taking a look at Sophia right now. She is a doll. She's just about one year old. Yes, you've noticed she's black, so the black cat replate applies. ID number 200836. Sophia. Cherokee here is a poser. Just waking up for a nap, but decided to sit up and let you see all of his splendor. He is a gorgeous tabby. Just about six months old, and his ID number is 201060. He is sleek as he can be. Cherokee. 201060. Well, here are two scared darlings. Yes, these are kittens down here growing up at the shelter. Can you imagine that, spending your whole life here at the shelter? Babies, we've got a lot of babies down here, maybe about 40, and then we've got a ton more kittens out in foster. So we really need your help with these adoptions. Come down here, take a look at our kittens, and I know you're going to want to take one, two, or three out of here. Hey, if you don't have uh, the space in your home for kittens or a cat, how about coming down here and volunteering? You can take a cat out of a cage, socialize, pet, groom, whatever. It makes the cat so much more adoptable because they've had hands-on and socialization. We count on you people out in the community to come down here and help us. Try volunteering down here. I know the animals will love it, and I know you'll love it too. Call the volunteer line at 781-4413, and we'll get back to you on volunteering po possibilities. But for now, take a look at these two kittens and the scores of other cats we've got down here, and come and adopt. And we have some bunnies for you. You're looking right there at Huckleberry scampering away. And next door, we have Victoria. Victoria is female, just one year old. That's the white one lying down there. ID number 200948. And Huckleberry, ID number 200947. Oh. 